What's up guys, it's Ethan, and I want to be a celebrity. I want the fame, I want the clout, I want to get recognized on the streets. I want people to go, oh my god, that's Ethan. But unfortunately, I can't sing or dance. And I'm not premiering in any A-list films anytime soon. I'm going to show you how I social engineered my fame, my clout, which got me into the most exclusive restaurants. It got people creating crowds around me, wanting my photo, wanting to know who I was because they knew I was important. Check this out. As many of you know, my TikTok has been kind of blowing up. I have around 45,000 followers as of today, and I really wanted to cash in on this sweet, sweet TikTok clout. And for most content creators, the only way you really make money on TikTok is by receiving donations while live streaming. Now, unfortunately, I don't usually get over 100 live streamers. If I get 100 live streamers, that's pretty good. It's a pretty good day. But then it hit me. What if I could get 10,000 to 100,000 people watching live on my TikTok? What kind of power would I have in the real world? Those are Drake and Beyonce numbers. That would allow me to do almost anything I wanted. So I decided to build my own version of TikTok Live where I could control the number of viewers by the volume level on the side of the iPhone. And by clicking higher volume would increase the number of viewers by thousands. And it would look identical to what actual TikTok Live looked like. Okay guys, so this is the fake TikTok Live app. It's a complete replica of the real one, except I can control the metrics on this thing. So you see below how people are randomly joining. Yeah, these are just like fake na usernames I found online. I just put them all into the system and they're gonna constantly be joining. And in the top left corner, you can see how, how many people we have online watching. So if I increase the volume, it's gonna reflect the level of volume. So here somewhere in the middle, it's gonna be around like 37, 38,000 online. It's gonna be fluctuating like it was real. If I increase this thing all the way to the top, I'm gonna to get like better than Drake numbers. Like this is what the president gets, like a hundred some thousand online at the same time watching. These are insane numbers. No one should believe that I would have that on live and they would not know who I am. So this is a crazy, crazy numbers. Let's see what we can do with it. And with my new tool, I was ready to hit the streets of South Florida and experience the fame that I worked so hard to earn. But before we start knocking down doors and walking into places like work celebrities, make sure you guys smash the like button, write a comment below with your TikTok name or Instagram handle, and fill out the survey and subscribe. And if you do all of these things, the survey is below, if you do all of these things, I will see if I can get you access to the fake live streaming app that you can then use with your friends and have all that sweet, sweet clout. All right, guys, I'm with Laura, my friend Laura. We're here at Hollywood Beach. We're about to go and uh, be famous. All right, let's do this. Here we are. Let's be the first guy right here. We decided to start our day off with like a nice, cute lunch. We found this really nice taco place and we went to the hostess explaining that we had 30,000 people on live and that we're going to do food reviews. Well, we got our table super quickly, and the manager came out to greet us. Hey, what's up? So listen, I have, uh, I have, uh, have 39,000 people watching right now live. Do you mind if I show you and everything? What's your name? Diego. Diego, Diego. nice to meet you, Diego. And where are we at, Diego? Give us the rundown. Where are we at? Tell us about the place. We are in the taco spot. The taco spot. We are spot. a Mexican restaurant in Hollywood Beach. We're really excited, and we're going to have some food, and we're going to give some good reviews. So guys, we're going to give a review. Uh, we have to meet the owner or the co-owner. So uh, check in soon. All right, thanks Thank so much, guys. Much. Absolutely, okay, absolutely, okay. please. So Laura and I decided to have one taco each and one drink, but that's when the food started to roll out. Uh, ceviche. Ceviche. That's right, that we know. All right, we'll try it. Thank you so much. Absolutely, he just brought us uh, ceviche. Awesome. Oh, you're so good at this. <laughs> the manager was so cool and so nice. He wanted us to try everything. He brought us out ceviche. He brought us out extra tacos. He went over all the sauces. I mean, we felt like royalty. Man, they actually threw that in extra. Wow, they gave, us, they gave us an extra taco. And as we were talking to the manager and giving our food reviews, you could see that a large crowd was forming outside. Someone overheard that we had 30 to 40,000 people on live. And around 20 to 30 people were outside waiting for us for when we left. And the next thing I knew, well, I was the life of the party. 40,000 online. Yeah. 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 What's up? What's going on, everybody? People were going nuts. Everyone was getting turned up, and everyone wanted to know who I was. Everyone wanted to be my friend. Oh, oh I've been there. Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. Do you have so many people on? Yeah, it's growing actually. Forty-five thousand. Oh, how much you have? A few. Quite a few. How a few. Much, how much? Yeah. Yo, look at that icky right there, everybody. Let's get that right now. Call her out. Yeah, call me out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay, it was all fun and games, and it was nothing but love. We had so much fun, and they even offered me some of their sweet, sweet homemade apple juice that I took right to the face. It was delicious. 
Shot to the face, guys. All right, guys, we're heading out. Yo, it's nice meeting you guys. Catch you guys later. And as I was leaving that group of people, I ran into a street preacher. My day couldn't get even weirder. And he was telling us how we were all going to burn and all these terrible things. So I had to confront him with me and my 30,000 fans. God know, before we're born, does God know we're going to go to hell? Before we're born, answer that question. Before we're born, does God know? Okay, so he does. So he makes us know we're going to hell and then punishes us for it. That's immoral. Everybody's here a little bit stumped. I got a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all, because it's immoral, because you can't punish someone if you have no control of the situation. Okay, anyway, that was it, guys. I enjoyed this. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. That's right. So, another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. They were stumped. They were so stumped. They didn't know what was going on. I'm dumb smart. And what was super funny is that I stumped them so bad, and that whenever I spoke, no one ever spoke me. And if someone was speaking and I wanted to say something, I would just interrupt them and they wouldn't even push back. I had the power of 30,000 people in my hand. I had the authority over everyone in this conversation, everyone in this debate. So after destroying this preacher, I was feeling kind of tired. And I wanted to cool off at a rooftop pool. We went to this new location and as soon as I walked in and started talking to my 20 to 30,000 people on live, people noticed right away. People started taking photos, people started taking videos of us. Everyone wanted to know who I was. I would say. He's TikTok famous. I'm with the TikTok famous person. It's Ethan Kaiser, it's my TikTok, you can look it up. But anyway. Wait, that's a lot of views. He has 19.8 views. So you have a lot of followers. Uh, quite a few. Not a lot. Can you but... pin my ad? Since I was in your video, you used my face, so pin my ad. We'll pin your ad later. We'll do it later. Now, as a celebrity, I don't like clout chasers. You know, I had to work really hard for my fame. I don't just pin anyone's at. Well, I also didn't build that functionality. I forgot about it, so I couldn't do it if I wanted to. <laughs> anyway, guys, what do you guys think about this conversation? Oh, they're all laughing now. Everyone's enjoying the conversation. Ha ha ha. I don't, I don't do that with everyone just right away. Come on. Ava, we'll have to get to that, okay? I'll let you get to that. And as the day got later, I realized I was really hungry, but I didn't make any reservations. And if you want to get into an exclusive place in Miami, you need to have reservations days in advance. But no, not for Ethan Kaiser. Not with my kind of clout. Hey, can you, um, do you have any reservations for this evening at around 8, 15 p.m.? I'll come right here at my sister restaurant for an Italian. Unfortunately, we're fully committed to the time this evening. So you're fully committed, that means you're fully booked? Yes, sir. So if you didn't catch that, he actually recommended that we go to their sister restaurant, which had more capacity because they were fully booked. I don't do sister restaurants, okay? I didn't work my way up all these days to be going to someone's sister restaurant. No, I wanted to eat at the main one. I wanted to eat at Prime 112. But I have an extremely large social media following and I'd be happy to go on live with around 30 to 40,000 people on live at the, uh, and allow the manager to do a shout out, tell us the best foods. I mean, I'd be more than happy to help you guys out if that's possible. And it's not up to par. I'm more than happy to not uh, have the table, but I think you'd be very satisfied. The manager would be very satisfied. Is there any way you could ask the manager if that's possible? It's um, the latest I've ever do is 8 p.m. All right, we'll do 8 p.m. I will be happy to help you. And Derek, Derek, I, I look forward to speaking with you, Derek, okay? All right, I'm sorry. What was your name? Ethan Kaiser. All right, thank you. Yep, see you soon. Bye. <laughs> We're celebrities. <laughs> hey, let's go. And as we walk there, Lara started to second guess whether or not this was going to work. Like an exclusive doesn't place. matter. You can't just show your followers. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Every place accepts followers as currency. I told her to wait outside that I was going to get the table and I was going to speak to the manager because now is the moment of truth. I walked right into the place. I saw the manager. I went right up to him. And here's what happened. Are you Derek? I'm Derek. Derek, uh, we spoke earlier. I have 31,000 on live right now. If you want to speak to them, give them a shout out real quick. Hi this guys. Is TikTok Live right now. If you want to say where we're at and what's going on. We we're here at Prime 112 having dinner on a Sunday night. We're really excited to have really great food here. I heard this is the best place in Miami. Um, we have a reservation for 8 p.m. So we're really excited to have some great food. All right, guys. Well, we're going to give you guys a review in a second. So just I'll put you guys on mute real quick. And finally, guys, the fruits of my hard labor as a very busy celebrity paid off. Oh, my God. Look at this food and this beautiful girl. Does it get better than this? I love being a celebrity. Guys, we had such a nice night. The food was amazing. The whole day was a blast. I felt like a celebrity for the entire day, all because I had a little app I built 
that made it look like I was on live with thousands and thousands of people. It really shows how much clout and fame can really improve your situation. I got into places super easily. Everyone wanted to be my friend. There was actually a scenario where I was walking down the boardwalk and two kids were about to fight and I jumped between them. I'm like, I got 30,000 people on live. You know, do you want to shout out your ads or your Instagrams? And they're like, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And they completely forgot about their beef and like everyone diffused. Like this thing has so much power. And I want to give it to some of the uh, viewers here. If you guys want to try using my app and see what you come up with, um, make sure you like this video, comment in your Instagram or TikTok below, and fill out the survey and subscribe. And if you do all these things, I uh, will try to get you your own copy of the app. Um, I'm being very careful about who I give this to because it's very, very powerful. And I want everyone to know that my last video got over 50,000 views. And by liking and commenting on this video, you will blow this video up so that those restaurant owners who thought they were getting the uh, marketing from my live feed can get the marketing from YouTube. I don't like the idea of lying to people and I definitely hate the idea of stealing. I think these are wrong things to do but I can justify this by having this video go viral and having their restaurant locations tagged here so they can get the same press. And this is still relatively a new channel and on this channel we don't believe in pranking people. Pranking people is so one dimensional and they're not really that funny. A lot of them are just copies of each other or they're all set up and they're all fake. Guys, we don't do that here. We believe in playing chess with our enemy. We outthink them five steps in advance. We don't prank, we social engineer. We get our way through psychology, manipulation, and negotiation, all in very real settings. So if you wanna see more of this stuff, make sure you guys subscribe, click the like button, and I'll catch you guys next time.